What's up guys, Anthony here and welcome to the video. So I'm going to be putting this at the start of pretty much every video this week just to give you guys a little bit of insight of where I have been for the last three weeks. Uh, basically, I took a break. Uh, I had a lot of work coming up and it was just one of those things where I just needed a break because it was the streaming, the editing, everything, it was kind of crazy. And not only that, I wanted to bring more because I noticed on my channel, I haven't really evolved. I've kind of just that got to a level and then just stayed there. I was never constantly trying to improve uh, my channel, improve the quality and all that kind of jazz. So what I've been doing for the last couple of weeks, uh, I took one week off. I literally didn't even turn my computer on. Um, in the last two weeks, I have been tinkering, learning, learning how to use Photoshop, learning how to use Premiere, how to use After Effects. Am I great at it? No, but it's definitely a work in progress, and I definitely want to add more quality to these videos, as well as better editing and everything like that, because in my previous video, they were very stock standard, pretty much drop it in, boom, boom, resize it to make sure it fits in the webcam thing, and that was about it. Maybe a little bit of color correction, but there wasn't a whole lot of editing involved. So I wanna be more proactive with the editing, uh, better edits, making the videos better, look better, sound better, uh, and just the overall quality of everything. Uh, for the video. So that's what I've been doing for the last few weeks. Just kind of learning, tinkering, and just kind of playing with the programs to see what I can do and what I can't do and stuff like that. But anyway guys, without any further ado, let's get into the chapter. What is up guys? Anthony here and welcome to my live reaction and review for Black Clover chapter 241 super mid air battle all right guys so let you guys know uh, for those of you who only watched the black clover i did have a little clip uh in uh, before this excuse me explaining why um i've been gone for the last three weeks things are still 100 percent ready um, but I am working on it and hopefully within the next week or two weeks, I will have things the way I want them in regards to how the video is going to play out and all that kind of jazz. But also to let you guys know, I am 100% up to date with Black Clover. I have not missed a chapter. I have read every single chapter. Um, uh, I've seen, uh, the Spade King, the Spade Kingdom King literally destroy William Vengeance, um, destroy you know um, and basically now he's at the black clover hideout with Asta coming out to take take him on um, and the other thing is we found out who they're actually after they are actually after Yami of all people I thought they were after vengeance um, but apparently they want Yami which is kind of crazy but anyway, let's get straight into this. We're getting into the war between the Spade Kingdom and the Clover Kingdom. Let's do this. I'm excited. I know you guys are as well. Let's go. So we're starting off with Asta, where we finished last week. Asta launching out, going after him, going, ah, Black Slash. And he's got some slashes going off at the Spade Kingdom. Okay. Gravity Magic. Presence of the Demon King. All right, so that's the Spade King. Imagine he's like, huh? All right, so he's like, T -t -t and he's just dodging it. He negated my magic, then attacked. Not bad. So it looks like the Spade King is starting to realize, wait, I can't use my magic against Asta because Asta's anti-magic. All right, so he's just dodging it. Okay, so what's going on? So he's like, so he Something's coming up. And I was just like, what? Ooh, those are the trees. He's actually made the trees come up. All right. And I was like, what? Ugh! So it's hit Asta. All right. What's going on here? So it's gone like up past him. What was that? It was just like earlier. A spell that interferes with natural. Oh, it's Vanessa. 
bring it! So it looks like Vanessa's like, no, 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 that's not happening. And it's like, zoom! And used her fake magic basically to shoom, make it miss Asta. And that's like, bring it! And we've got the cat going, Wah! I love it. This is sick. Vanessa and Asta, man, that's going to be super OP. Alright. So Asta's gone in. The king's dodged it. It's like, huh? And he's going in on um, the castle that Henry's controlling. It's like, Dush. all right. So he's gone. He's in the castle. And he's landed. Uh, so we got uh, we got uh, Vanessa Gray and um, Gauch standing there. He's like, hmm. Okay. So you're that cat's owner. Stay behind Rouge, you two. So Rouge is in the front. It's like, so. She's, Bruges is there. And Asta's like, fight me! He's like, so he's snapping his fingers. It's like, Lodge! So Asta's just dropped. Asta! All right, so Asta's dropped. He goes, this man's magic. It's powerful and its range is way too big. Hmm. Magic that interferes with natural laws. Plus, that beauty, your figure. You're a good fit for Dante of the Dark Triad. Be my woman. Dude, so he's literally proposing to Vanessa. She's like, huh? The Dark Triad? So, he's one of the goons that controls the Spade Kingdom. Is that so, supposed to be some kind of joke? <laughs> no, I'm not joking. Alright. Oh, Asta's a... Boy, he's got demon form. So, so you're the evil boss, huh? So, that's like... Bitch, motherfucker, that ain't stopping me. Ah, I love it. Asta's gone in. Now that's a shock. So he's jumped off. To think someone was possessed by a devil in the Clover Kingdom too. Black Diviner! He's going, Asta's going in. That anti-magic tech homes in on magical power, but he dodged it easily. Okay. Black Meteorite! As is going in again. And he's just dodging. I can't hit him. If he's dodging you, just attack him with so much, he can't dodge it at all. Who have thought he'd come to us? If we take that guy out, this pain in the butt trip is over. Asta! Yeah, Mr. Gauch! Look! Oh, look at me! Oh, he's... Mirror magic, mirror brigade. So he's using um, his mirror magic. It's like, huh? It's like, pop up. Mirror meteorite. Oh, gets it after the mirror. Oh, this is sick, man. This, this is gonna look so amazing when it gets animated. Dodge this. Oh, it's multiple. Dude, dude, this is insane, man. This is insane. Holy shit, Batman. Dude, this is like, this is fucking insane. First, we had Vanessa come in. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna do that in the breakdown. So I'll see you guys in the breakdown. What's up, guys? All right, guys. So welcome to the breakdown for Black Clover. Give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I need. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This was an insane chapter. All right. This is chapter 241, Super Mid Air Battle. All right. So our chapter starts off with Asta going out at Dante, the Spade Kingdom King. All right. This is the guy who can use 80 percent of the demons power, alright, it's kind of crazy, 80%, nearly all of it, right, basically we find out, he goes in, Ast is going in on him, using a black slash attack, very similar to Yumi's dimension slash, basically sending out energy of, um, like, uh, what do you call it? anti-magic, right, we did, now we see Dante using gravity magic presence of the Ding King, Realizing, wait a second, it's not working, and that's when he goes, hmm, he negated my magic in that attack. Not bad. So, and then we see him basically just, tink, 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 dodging it quite effortlessly, right? 
And he seems to be quite, uh, what's the word? Uh, surprised with Ashley. He's like, hmm, all right, this is not too bad. I might actually need to fight, right? He then ends up creating trees coming float. We see trees getting ripped up, like there's broken trees and everything. And he having them launch at Asta. We're like, oh shit. And seemingly it hits Asta. Next thing we see, the trees are flying whew, above him. Right? Like, huh? What's going on? What was that? And he's like, what was it? It was just like earlier. Then we see Rouge. Rouge is Vanessa's cat and it controls fate. Right? The fate. And it will protect anyone Vanessa deems to be an ally, a friend. Right? So Rouge basically protects Asta and allows the trees to bypass him. Right? Asta then goes in. The Spy Kingdom just... Dante just dodges him like it's effortless and goes straight into the Clover Castle. Right? Where that Henry is uh, controlling. He There, he sees Vanessa, Grey, and Gouch. Right? Rouge then jumps in front. It's like... All right, stay behind Rose, you too. That's what Vanessa is saying. And that's where Dante realizes who owns the cat, right? We've got Asta coming and going, fight me! And Asta gets gravity, bang, he just launched. He gets, bang, just launched down to the ground. It's like, huh? And Vanessa's like, Asta, holy crap. We're like, yeah, that's not going to stop. We all know that's not going to stop Asta because... Asta is a certified beast, right? I like, and then the funny part of this chapter is Dante, the king of the Spaken, literally proposes to Vanessa saying, hmm, magic that interferes with natural laws, plus that beauty, your figure. You're a good fit for Dante of the Dark Triad. Be my woman. So he's basically He's basically proposing to Vanessa at this point, right? Which is kind of crazy, right? He's basically saying to her, hey, come be, basically be the queen of the Spade Kingdom, which is kind of crazy, right? Vanessa's like fed up, like, yeah, no, that's not happening. Then we have uh, Asta coming back in demon form, saying, yeah, everyone's like, seriously? Yes. Basically, she is. Well, is that supposed to be some kind of joke? He's like, no, no, I'm not joking. I'm being legit serious. Then we got ah, Asta's popping. Goes, son, you're the evil boss, huh? So Asta's a pop popped up out of nowhere behind him, and then he's dodging. Goes, now that's a shock. So he's like a little bit shocked. He goes to think that someone was possessed by a devil in the Clover Kingdom too. So he basically instantly. This uh, figures out that, wait a second, Asta is possessed by a devil as well. Hence the reason he's anti-magic and all that kind of jazz. Which is kind of crazy, right? Asta brings out the Black Divider and he uses Black Meteorite. Fortunately, he can't hit the king. The king is just dodging him, making it look very much effortless. Like he's not, seems like he's not really trying at the moment. Yeah, that's when Gauch comes in and goes, Asta, if he's dodging you, just attack him with so much that he can't dodge it all. It's like, look. And he uses his mirror magic mirror brigade. And next thing we know, there are multiple mirror meteorites, which is multiple Astas with the big black divide going in on him and saying, dodge this. And that is where our chapter ends. Guys, this is a damn good chapter, all right? This is a phenomenal chapter. The art is good. How Vanessa, first off, uh, sends Rogue out to protect Asta from the trees, and then having Gauch come in with his mirror magic to basically take uh, Asta's meteorite drive. I think it's, it's a meteorite drive. Give me a second until I make sure I got that one right. No, he's Black Meteorite, which is one of Asta's bigger attacks. And then setting it up so there is multiple. Like we've got currently 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's at least 12 there, right? 12 Black Meteorites 
or heading at him, kind of like a, a cone type effect, right? That's kind of crazy because now what is the Spade King going to do? So the Spade King looks a little bit shocked, but going off what we've seen so far, I don't think this is going to be too much of a, a big deal to him because we've seen that he hasn't really tried it yet. So the only thing I can think of is this, is that he's going to use a good chunk of power and it's going to stop it, right? Somehow, some way, it's going to work and it's going to stop it. I don't think Asta's going to defeat Dante. Not now. It'll be way too early and it wouldn't make sense to the story. Obviously, yes, Asta with his anti-magic and all that kind of stuff is awesome. But now using Gauche's mirror magic, there is magic involved in it. And I think Dante will be able to use his um, gravity magic to... Uh, to basically kind of dispel this. So, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. But I don't think Ass is going to win this fight right here, right now. I don't think it's going to happen. It will be way too, like, weird. Saying that Dante is literally just taking out Vengeance. Taking out you know, right? And seemingly done it effortlessly. Ass is not a lot more powerful than these guys. Right, we've seen that Asta is quite powerful. We've seen that, yes. But I don't think he's jumped that far ahead yet. That wouldn't make sense to the story as well. For Asta literally to take out the boss this quickly. But anyway, guys, overall, the art was solid. Not a ton of progression, but this is a very action-heavy chapter. Vanessa gets proposed to, but we know that was never going to happen. She's very much in love with Yami. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what goes down next week in Chapter 242. So overall, for this chapter, guys, I'm going to give it four stars. It was a damn good chapter. I really did enjoy it. I'm curious how Dante is going to get out of this now. I think he's going to get out of it pretty comfortably. I don't see him getting defeated. If he gets defeated, it's going to be kind of anticlimactic at the moment. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. As always, I'm Free No One. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. It's completely and totally free. And you know you like that free stuff. And as always, I will see you guys next week with more Black Clover. Peace.